We've had a sad end. Wisconsin, St. Croix County. We gotta say it loud and let's do this. Yeah. Hey folks, couple quick things. One, thanks for riding along on this series of videos with me. There's three videos. This is number two, of course. As I think about this, a couple things to keep in mind. One, some of the, the, the Willage Star stuff is a lot of fun. This might have been a little bit on the edge. Um, and it reminds me to remind you, right? We all love each other. Keep it between the rows. Keep it safe. Uh, let's make good choices. And, uh, you know, hopefully everybody has a happy, healthy 2023 the second thing is, is it was extremely cold. The heater in the truck only worked partially because when I turned the heater on, the headlights got dim. So I was managing them both. It was not a good situation. Camera equipment was failing because of the cold. I did my best to get the shots I could get. I had to use the GoPro a lot because uh, it got too cold for the other cameras and it doesn't do well in low light. So I do apologize. Some of the shots are a little dark. I just got to do better next time. But I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Uh, these two things. Can't wait to tell you this story. But uh, apparently if you buy two skitters, they throw in a bulldozer. So that'll be an adventure for you. Hey, all So we haven't gone too far. And uh, so to be honest with you, I felt like the... I felt like the lights were getting pretty dim. I stopped and just hit the rest stop. And when I tried to get going again, the truck did the old clicky, clicky, clicky. I'm only running on one battery here. So what I've done is I've jumpered them together, pulled out my emergency generator setup. I'm guessing I lost an alternator. So I just popped the hood, got some lights. But try to get this thing charged back up. And then, uh, so I'm thinking that we, thinking that this guy committed suicide. I wanted to see. Hey! You guys see that? Maybe we're back in business. Let's go find something to crimp that wire down and we might keep on keeping on. Kind of an unfortunate situation. I can't find my voltmeter. So I'm gonna have to stop and pick up one when we stop next time. super in love with that repair but <sighs> see if it won't get us where we're going let's put her down I think we might have got lucky on that one let's see if everything looks brighter when we get running So here's the deal. I found that loose wire, so I'm gonna pull the charger off here. Well, it's still got two batteries on it. Crank it over. Whew, no keys. Scared the pants off myself for a minute. Kill 
the fans and all that stuff. It did the, obviously, as you guys heard, pop right off. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill all this. All right, I don't know if you guys can see this very well or not. Probably not, but. First crisis averted, and ha, my gauge cluster light started working. Matter of fact, some of them are pleasantly bright. But, you really want to be able to see oil pressure. It's just, uh, anyways. Take the third mountain pass. The rest area is closed. Check the brakes. Tip over the other side of this guy. So we'll see you on the bottom. What do we got? 6% grade for three miles. That ain't bad. We have entered Montana. We're going to stop at camp here in a bit. I'll update you when we get. take off doing my morning inspection and it's uh, appeared so it looks like it's up in the tread I don't know not very happy about that at all I mean if it was down the sidewall I'd be a lot more nervous but still not happy about it We didn't want to do it but we couldn't find any used tires anywhere reasonably close which sucks because we actually have a pile of them sitting back in Wisconsin but I'm not in Wisconsin and 
Nah, that split was just in the tread line. It was bad enough. I'm not super happy with the idea of driving it as is. So the adventure continues. We had to pony up and get some tires. Not really in love with that idea at all. New tires. Oh. Four fives are too big. Thought he, thought he might be fibbing me. I don't think they'll fit underneath the wheel wells. So, yeah. The hits keep right on rolling. The trip that never ends keeps not ending. And oh well, we'll, uh, we'll update you when and if we get on the road. I'm going to try to do something a little different. I'm going to try to leave the heater running in the RV while I drive so that might mean it catches fire but it might also mean something really cool happens like it defrosts and possibly we get some running water back that would be nice for me because I really want to take a shower all right we'll catch up with you well here's the deal this is a good one uh, coming over here, I noticed the throttle was a little boggy as soon as I left getting tires. So, I'm having to stop. <coughs> and I got to go to the next town. I'm at a, just at a rest area here in Montana. But I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure I got plugged fuel filters or somebody thought it was funny to see something in my tank while I was sleeping. Um, so, I got to roll to the next town so snap I can deliver to me because they won't deliver out here. I'm too far away. So I'm going to pull up stakes and move on to the next town if I don't get stuck on the side of the freeway. But he said it's only three, four miles. Uh, but I'm going to do it quick before any sediment filters into that filter further and screws me. So hook myself back up and keep on keeping on, huh? All right. Well, kind of a victory. Ah. So it looks like the primary fuel filter was pretty gunked up. I don't know if you're going to see this because it's so dark. I had to do this in a lot. But uh, the bugger is up underneath there. And you can't get your daggum hands on top of it for nothing. Um, so I started it. Basically changed that out. Built the filter with diesel. Started it. As soon as it pops off, just hammer the gas down. And keep it down because I, like, I don't have enough batteries to start it more than once or twice. And uh, it wanted to die for a long time, and it finally sucked up the air. So that was a pretty tense moment. I'm like, come on, baby. So listen, uh, it was revving up. The throttle was responsive again. So I'm going to leave the primary for now. Um, and if I get stuck on the side of the road, that one's super easy peasy to get to. So yeah, I'm going to wash up, clean up, and, and hit the road and put a few miles on. I'll tell you guys what, uh, we're going to find some place to stop. I'll show you, I'm on the side of the freeway here in Montana. It's, uh, I happen to be looking in the mirror and notice I feel like the trailer was bouncing around too much on the hitch. Uh, there's four bolts that hold that hitch on, which is what's rated for this size trailer. And uh, one's missing. Uh, one was like I could take it off with my fingers. It was just about off uh, And the other two were at least three Wow I'm in uh, Beautiful Glendive, Montana it's My third day waking up in Montana I'm walking in my pajama pants to the hardware store because GPS lied to me and I googled it right 
And it's a hardware store and it looks like it's right across the freeway from the hotel. Or not the hotel, from the truck stop. Well, when you actually start walking it and the route develops, it's across the freeway and down a country block. But I'm gonna go get a sack full of grade eight three quarter inch bolts <sighs> and see if I can figure out how to get my hitch re-secured to the truck so I can once again attempt to drive. If I have to Uber, I am leaving the state of Montana today. I don't know how far I'll get and what surprises are yet in store. But we've been averaging, huh, she's just a couple hundred miles a day. Ah, so anyways, when you walk briskly, it's less brutally cold. I'll tell you that. Um, thoughts on this adventure thus far? Uh, it's been interesting, I'll tell you that. Uh, listen, it's a 50-year-old truck. I mean, it's just, this is just what happens, you know? Um, the adventure's not over. So, just going to keep positive thoughts going, and we'll keep on trucking, and uh, hopefully we can get there here. Uh, GPS says I only have 12 minutes left in my walk. Can't tell you how much I appreciate that. There was, uh, apparently there's not a hotbed of Uber drivers here. Who knew? Um, but I don't mind it too much despite the brutal cold because I have been sitting on my butt <laughs> in that truck for three days. So, on and off, I've had to work, so I've been trapped in an RV. Uh, but don't, don't mind getting out and stretching the legs here a little bit at all. All right, I want to show you guys how we did this. Everybody else who's smart left the truck stop world. This hitch come off of here last night. Probably can't see it super well. So we got all new grade eight bolts. But as you can see by the ratchet strap, uh, we have ratchet strapped it to a set of vice grips and it took a ratchet strap to vice grips or to get the bolt holes lined up on that stinking hitch uh, so you don't want to do that and we can't get the truck to start and I'm hoping because it's so cold but I broke down it never do I gave it a little ether now we're going to, hold on here. Well, it says it's charging the battery, so we're going to let that battery charge for a little bit and try to crank her again. It's turning over. I might just have to disconnect this extension cord and uh, let block heaters run on it for a few minutes. You guys can't see the wind, but... You can see the drifts. Let me tell you, it's freaking brutal out here. We're still in Montana. The truck won't start. The party continues. All right, well, listen, we got the, we is me. I got the junk I need to get it going. So I'm just going to let the, let the battery charger charge. And then uh, I'm probably going to turn around, let that run for a few minutes. And then I'll go hit it with the block heater too. I don't want to try to start it again until I do that. 
All right. All right. So listen, I was a little concerned about the truck not starting thing, which is why I uh, brought a, sorry, put some gloves on. I brought a 2000 kilowatt generator, or kilowatt, 2000 watt generator. I have no way of knowing if the block heater on this thing's any good. I do have a way of knowing that my extension cord is like one foot too short, right? Are you kidding me? No, you're serious. That's not funny. <sighs> All right. Let's see, guys. There's always new challenges, right? While I get mad. But we're going to hook this thing up to the block heater. We're gonna let it block heat for a few minutes. And then we are gonna torch it off. And if everybody is nice to us, the powers that be, it'll start. Now when it starts, we are going to drive away. It is brutally cold out here, folks. For those of you who are wondering, I'm chilly. <coughs> okay. What's that? There's a leaf in there? Come on, little block eater. I need you now. plug in the blower we had to take out and give it a smile but it worked she's alive well I don't know if you guys can see that very well or not maybe the high beams but it's not completely a sheet of glass but it's slick we're gonna take it nice and easy, but we are leaving Montana tonight. So, if nothing else, we are going to North Dakota. That's all there is to it. Well, we're out of Montana into North Dakota. As I'm sure you guys can see, we got snow, blowing snow. It's actually a little bit better. Uh, we're going about 35 miles an hour. But the last like two hours have been like sheer just glass, like glare ice. Uh, a bunch of people piled up in the ditch and stuff, and you know we don't we don't have any weight on the rear, so the back end of this thing wants to skid around. So we're just taking it easy. But the goal is still to put some miles on tonight, <coughs> unless this gets worse. Uh, but I'm kind of hoping if I can get on the other side of this, I might get the, I might get the clear road, and it might be some some smooth sailing, and I can get some hours. In, so we'll see. All right. So I'm tapping out. It's uh, I'm at the Trapper's Kettle in an unknown city in Minnesota, or uh, North Dakota. But the back end of the truck was getting squirrely all over the place. And <laughs> figured I have had enough. So we're gonna park it. And instead of sleeping in the camper, ooh, that's kinda cool, huh? I figured I'd do something crazy and not sleep in the camper. All right, well, checking in, actual sleep. I don't know if you guys can can see. And, you know, I'm not sure if the snow ever turns out as bad on... Uh, there, you can probably see it. I'm going to say... I'm going to say stopping was the right call. So... Dude, look at this. The wind is, is a howling. 
I know I only got like a hundred miles. I was supposed to drive till midnight and I'm stopping at like eight o'clock. I am never gonna get home.